Hey guys, today I want to tell you about my short little trip to Valencia in Spain, how we liked the city and how it was exploring the city as a dog. Spoiler alert, we actually loved the city. It's one of the three biggest cities in Spain and my mom and I, for example, have never been to Madrid or Barcelona. So we say it's the prettiest city in Spain that we've been to so far. So if you're near or close or you would just want to plan a city trip, definitely go there. It's absolutely beautiful. And first we went to the City of Sciences, which is pretty newly built in the last couple of years or in the last decade. And it's actually stunning. Like they have so such a nice like architecture, even though it's like newly built, but with lots of plants and also water around it. And then there's a botanic garden that we also explored. And it was simply breathtaking how they build it. And we basically just walked around. I think if my parents would have been there without me, they probably also would have went into the aquarium that is there. But like this, we just walked around and explored everything. And actually, I really wanted to go into that water, even though I'm always like shy when it comes to water and I'm not the best swimmer. But here, I really wanted to hop in for some reason. Maybe it was because it was so crystal clear. And after we walked around there and looked at everything, we went back to our car and drove into the city center to check into our hotel. And it wasn't that easy finding a dog-friendly hotel with a good location, but we've made it and we paid 22 euros for me as a dog. And actually, like to be honest, we actually always expect like something in return, for example, like a food in the water bowl or maybe even a dog bed. But there was literally nothing, which was a little bit disappointing, but okay. And then I saw this ice bear or this teddy bear and I was so afraid of it. I like parked at it and like everyone was laughing at me and like taking pictures and videos of me barking at the dog. And then we wanted to go into this market hall, but unfortunately dogs weren't allowed. So my parents had to go separate. And to be honest, that's something that we've had like so many times here in Spain, unfortunately. I mean, now that it's summer, we can sit outside in restaurants and that's no problem usually with a dog. But like going into restaurants or cafes with a dog, like 90% of times or so people say no and like dogs are not allowed, which is... Very unfortunate, especially for a friendly and small dog like me. But yeah, we always manage to find a solution. So after checking out this market hall, which was basically like a regular market, like cheese and then olives and fruits and veggies and then also some ham and stuff like that. We just like walked around further, took a look at the cathedral and basically wherever you walk there's such nice architecture like the old towns of Valencia, the old houses, everything is so beautiful and breathtaking like we could not get over it like it was so nice just walking around and exploring the city and of course my parents also made sure that I could take lots of breaks so we actually went into the hotel room for like an hour or two in the afternoon so I could just like sleep and then I also of course could sleep when they were getting coffee or like go out for dinner or go out for lunch and also sleep in the car which was nice and Valencia is just really, really worth the trip, like, let me say that. And actually, on our way back to Torre Vieja, we stopped in a city, in a town, a small town. It's called Guadalesque. It has actually, like, 259 inhabitants or something like that. I think my mom told me or my dad did. My dad did. And... It was so nice, it was so beautiful, there were like lots of tiny houses and it's known for its lake. So definitely wait for the view because behind the small alleys and the kind of like a castle, you see the lake and it's really breathtaking, it's very beautiful. So if you're close, definitely stop by. It's also a little touristy because, of course, people want to sell something and want to make a little bit of money. But look at this view. It's just the best. Like, oh, I love it. The blue and the green of the nature. It's so nice. So this was a little bit 
of an overview of our little road trip again <laughs> to a Spanish city. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like and a subscribe to my channel and then I can also spam you with more content and we'll see each other in my next video. Bye bye.